and now swept feature. Swept feature is a sketch based feature where the feature is created by moving a profile along a path. We are moving a section along a path and the components like clamp used in work holding device, spring which is having the helix geometry, thread cutting where you need to remove the material along a helical path and allen key. These are the components where you require the sweep command to create the geometry since here the section will be traveling along a guide path and now you will be interested to know how this feature can be created using SOLIDWORKS. To start with I will first create clamp using swept command. I will sketch a, a, a profile on the top plane. This is my circle. I would like to view in trimetric view and I will create a one more line segment here. Before that once again I will orient this and this is the way and one more line I have to create from this end to this end. And this two lines should be equal and I need to trim this and now we need to do dimension for this. This is of 60 mm and this is of uh, 80. Once I created this, so once again I will modify this as 120 and exit this. And we need a plane to place the section. Go to plane, reference plane, select this line segment and this end point. And on this plane, start to create one more profile which you need to travel here. I will go and say uh, I need a profile like this which will uh, give me and the which will give me the clamp shape once i created this you can apply dimensions if required so that it will be easy for you to control it parametrically this is of 7 mm and this should be of uh, 25 and i will select this length should be of 24 and uh, i will say uh, this dimension should be not required i need to say it has to align here. So what I will do is I will select this point and this point. It has to be pierced. Now it is fully defined. I will exit this. I will hide this plane and I will say I want to sweep this section along this guide path and click right click here. Finished. And now let's see how can we create one more sweat feature in SOLIDWORKS. I will delete this. I will go and create Allen key in SOLIDWORKS. My uh, first requirement is I'll go and sketch on this top plane. First we'll like to create one line segment. After creating this line segment what I can do is I can just drag this uh, I can just I can just switch over to arc and I can say this is my arc and up to here I need to create one more line segment and this and this should be tangent and now we can make a dimension for this this should be of uh, 15 and this should be of uh, 25 and this should be having 160 I'm sorry 160 and once you complete this confirm it and now you can go out and say select this plane uh, I mean you want to select the reference plane and you can select endpoint and the plane is created normal to the line segment and we have selected this plane and here we are going to sketch I will choose polygon command and I will place it exactly on this point and once I complete this I don't want to do dimension for this uh, I will exit the sketch and I will say I don't require I need to hide it so that I can have a better visualization I will go to swift boss or base select this profile and select this guide path you will be able to see the allen key creation now let's see how can you create helix it is spring in SOLIDWORKS. I will delete this uh, helix that is Allen key. Let's see how we can create spring in SOLIDWORKS. I will go to insert, curve, helix curve, select this top plane and uh, create a circle here. This is the diameter for the spring. Give this diameter as 80 mm and click OK. Once you complete this, uh, go to here uh, height and revolution defined here as uh, 120 mm how much height you require I require 250 to be the height and the revolution should be 50 
uh, you can make it as height and pitch and I can make it as pitch to be 20 or you require pitch to be 50 how much it required you can do it here click OK once you complete this we need that the, the reference plane to create the sketch here and using this go to sketching plane and now here I will use circle command and I will go and say I need to create a sketch over here but you can see we are not able to select exactly this endpoint what I will do is I will select this and I will say uh, convert entities but 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 when I select this one you can see here it is giving an array so what I will do is I will exit this and I'll go and say I would like to create the same sketch using 3d sketch and here I need to create on this plane and now I'll select the sketch uh, 3d uh, 3d uh, when I when I create a circle in this 3d sketch you can see we are able to snap exactly this point and now I can see it is coincide here and go and dimension this and this should be of 20 mm and confirm it and once you complete this once again I'll hide this plane I'll go to feature swept boss or base select this circle and this path now you can see the spring has created using swept boss or base now let us see how we can create sweep cut in SOLIDWORKS here I have a bolt I need to create your thread on this uh, bolt surface what I need to do is I'll go to sweep that is swept cut select this profile we have two cut one is profile cut and one is solid sweep I'll use profile cut and I'll select this guide path and click right click and now you can see thread on this face this is how you can create different component using swept command in SOLIDWORKS.